Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. Saints, hast thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad. Keep sharing on Facebook. Keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. I can't begin to imagine that all these teachings touching different areas from family life, spiritual growth, prayer, faith, our victory in Christ, passion for glory, the counsel of God, the kingdom, the Holy Spirit, you know, podcasts and so on and so forth, teaching on persecutions, um, the world system, prophecies, um, you know, the body of Christ and so on and so forth, the Holy Spirit, you can... I mean, did you know that you can just speak these teachings literally? Even if you never had an encounter with a man of God, you can pick these teachings and stay with them and you will encounter God in very solid ways. You heard the testimony of that gentleman, our brother, about to commit suicide, frustrated in his life, and just one message, walking in purpose. See, the, the unique thing about these messages is, aside from the thoughts, the unique dimensions of the teachings, there is an anointing upon the messages that will achieve the same results regardless of what is being talked about. So you can be listening to a teaching on relationship. Are we together? And you find out that you are healed. The anointing doesn't care that is relationship. The moment your faith is released, and there is an infirmity in your body. The anointing was designed to reproduce the Garden of Eden in your life. So whilst your mind is receiving information uh, as regards finances and whatever it is, the Holy Ghost will not see a sick body and pass. No. For as long as your faith is alive. Are we together now? That's the kind of miracle that happened to our brother. So I want to challenge you. You see, if you want to um, receive this teaching you have to create first and foremost have a compendium of this i believe that the media department can and should make this available please media make this available to as many people who want to have this copy number two is to if you can group them on your system or your phone or whatever it is create a way of grouping these teachings according to the central thoughts that they communicate you can group them, maybe the economic system of the kingdom, financial dominion, and the wealthy place, you know, you can group them. So that when you are trusting God to rise in the area of finances, you will not be studying um, on intimacy with the Holy Spirit. As important as that is, it may not achieve that result. Are we together now? You will be blessed, but you have to break these messages in such a way that they serve their purpose as when needed. So that even when you are giving the messages to people, you are blessing people. If they want everything, you can give them. But there are times when, for instance, someone is telling you, I used to be a pastor, I used to be on fire for God, but right now I'm smoking, I'm drinking, I'm not serious with God. Now, giving that person um, a message on... Um, Maybe a miracle service. It may help the person. 
but it may not really help the person so much. You will want to give that person a message like the principle of renewal. Are we together? Or why revivals die. Or gaining spiritual stature. That way you will minister more strategically to the person. So every one of us should have this. I'm, I'm sure that the media will have this. And you should have this so that you can go through the teachings. Don't just listen to what is available. There are so many teachings designed to guide us. I mean, I can begin to talk about, we have the eternal counsel of God, the multidimensional workings of the word, um, creative power of the spoken word, our victory in Christ, redeeming the time, be like him, um, kingdom advancement, kingdom economics, one to three. You know, several other teachings, the apostate church, fasting and prayer, the full gospel, evidence of genuine intimacy, um, prophetic insight to God's agenda, the prize for an extraordinary anointing, the mystery of death and glory, reality of heaven and hell, the secret of sustained glory, envoys of his presence, and then the warfare series now, the weapons of our warfare, pulling down stronghold, you know, the success and breakthrough series, activating breakthrough, dominion through excellence, supernatural exploits, give me this mountain. Um, I mean, there, there are so many. The protocol of an encounter confronting the darkness, the error, the darkness of error and apostasy, um, Spiritual timing, reigniting a passion for the Holy Spirit, koinonia, ancient secret to power and relevance, spiritual strategy for renewal, divine direction, the power of hope, the power of preparation, prophetic implication of associations, you will want to listen to that message. The reality of spiritual laws, the faith that works, Awake thou that sleepest. I can go on and on and on again. All these teachings were designed to build you. They were designed to build you. Are we together now? And I'm saying it especially for those online. If we can have a, an updated version of the catalog online. So that um, those who follow us online. There are thousands of people who follow us online. Can have access to this. And... Um, be blessed by them. Every one of these teachings are available and they are all free. It's a price we have made for the body of Christ as our contribution to seeing that the body grows. I want you to stretch your hands in one minute to this and i like us to pray and say, Lord, a fresh anointing upon it. We thank you for what these teachings have been doing to the nations. But in the name of Jesus, a renewed fire. Can you stretch your hands? Lord, we send these teachings afresh to nations, to prisons, to hospitals mighty miracles in a fresh dimension some of them are old teachings but we declare a new anointing upon them in the name of jesus we send them to the nations across asia across europe across the caribbean all across africa we send them as envoys to god messengers of encounters messengers of koinonia are you praying we are praying from here and lord we are speaking all those who have these teachings on their phones their laptops the grace to begin to listen to them lord we pray that there be miracles multiplied miracles multiplied miracles multiplied miracles we open up the gates of new territories Hedonistic nations be open to these teachings. The Middle East, Iraq, Iran, Palestine. Let there be men and women, oh God, that will take these teachings. May they bless ministries. May they bless individuals. May they go where we cannot go. We send them as messengers of fire. May they go with the hand of the Lord, the anointing of the Holy Ghost. May kings and nobles listen to this teaching. Let it shape governments. Let it shape territories. In the name of Jesus Christ, we release angels, new angels, assigned to take this teaching. 
new passion, new zeal. Prophetic evangelists all across this nation taking these teachings to unreached places. Hallelujah. Lord, we anoint this. I lay my hands upon it on behalf of your people. And Lord, we declare a fresh anointing upon these teachings. In the name of Jesus, a fresh dimension of the workings of the Holy Ghost upon these teachings. Let them go far further than we can imagine and produce great wonders in the lives of people. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'd like you to shout a big Amen. Shout it again, a big Amen. Amen. All right, pick up your writing materials. Let's get to the business of the night. Amen and amen and amen. It is God's desire that among the many things that happen to us, that we move from one dimension of grace to another. There are seven blessings that Jesus received in redemption and gave them to the church. It says, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power, riches, honor, and it lists all of them. A complete and a balanced Christian life. Please pay attention. It's a Christian life that has, through the grace of God, accessed all these dimensions. Are we together now? And um, in the last, maybe the last few months, I've been like, I would call it a spiritual archaeologist. There has been such a renewed passion in my heart to study the church, the ecclesia, to study the body of Christ afresh. This strange entity called the body of Christ. I've had a renewed passion to study the body of Christ and to study the un tapped riches, please pay attention, that are locked in, in this mysterious entity called the body of Christ. One of the things that I've been sharing with us, and we had a revision on that last week, is the power of the body. The ability to discern the body. The Bible tells us in a very uncomfortable way, how that the reason why there is a lot of weakness in the body, the reason why there is a lot of limitation, please listen, in the body, the reason why we are unable to, to, um, to not represent the full dimension of the glory and the power of God is because we have not been trained largely to discern the body and what it represents. First, Corinthians 11. Let's just look at that scripture. 1 Corinthians 11. Don't look at the projector screen. Open your Bible. 1 Corinthians 11. If you don't have a Bible, buy one. It's a gold watch setting. Cancel the money for your hair and buy a Bible. Jordan is in front here. It's available. The shop can be opened after Koinonia. We, we buy nonsense, we buy things that don't contribute overall to our spiritual growth and we ignore the things that have life. The Bible, listen, Jesus himself giving a parable, he says the kingdom is like a treasure. Listen, someone had a farm and there was a treasure in that farm but he did not know what treasure he had. Are we together? And he said one found that treasure and when he found that this land had treasure, he went and sold what? Every other thing to raise the money to buy that land. So it's worth it to make whatever sacrifice that will give you access. You see, in the spirit, I'm digressing for a reason. Don't major on the minors and then minor on the majors. There are some things when you hold them, other things must follow. Are you getting the point now? So don't chase foolish and mundane carnal things this one thing when you get it other things must follow for instance the bible says get wisdom get wisdom when you get wisdom with wisdom comes wealth with wisdom comes security 
with wisdom comes divine direction. So instead of praying for wealth, pray for divine direction, you cry for wisdom. Are we together now? You, you have to learn that certain things in the kingdom are contained in others. By getting certain major things, you get others too. I'll give you an instance. If the governor of Kaduna State is to come to Zaria, for instance, trying to bring the governor, the commissioner, the emir, is a very foolish thing. Just try to bring the president. Are we together? In bringing the president, every other person down that cheddar must come. Are we together? So when you seek the presence of God, other things follow. When you seek first the kingdom and his righteousness, if you are truly doing that, other things follow. So what you are receiving in Koinonia, listen, I'm saying this because there are people who think we are neglecting certain levels of spiritual growth. You may say, ah, but Apostle, why are we not teaching on this dimension and this dimension? What I'm teaching you is a superior dimension. It's a master key. I guarantee you, when you hold it, you will not need to look for other things because they will come. Are we together now? It's very important. Oh God, give me tea. Give me bread. That's the key to frustration. There are certain things when you have, that's the end of it. May you have it in Jesus' name. May God open your eyes to have it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So let's look at 1 Corinthians. I was saying something about the body of Christ. Um, 29 and 30. Thank you. It says, for he that eateth now, he was talking of communion. Right, the Holy Communion, Paul was helping them. Because um, theologically speaking, many of them, you know, the wines those days did not have a system of preserving it like we do now. So after a while, the wine would become alcoholic. And certain people started helping themselves with that alcoholic wine. So communion, that should just be just a shot of it, enough to help you. Certain people in the body of Christ who were custodians, maybe in the welfare department, started going out of the normal context of communion and they were drinking in the house of the Lord. Are we together? So those who think God did not talk about drinking, here it is. It says, For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, unworthily without respect, foolishly without revelation of what it means. It says, Drinketh unto what? Eateth and drinketh damnation unto himself. But then broadly speaking, it says not discerning the Lord's body. So the extended understanding of this is not just the bread and the cup. But that if you do not discern the Lord's body, there is a danger. For this cause, not for many causes, for this singular reason. That God has a body that needs to be discerned for a man to succeed. And the inability to discern that body has produced this. For this cause, how many? How many? It didn't say few. For this cause, the inability to understand this mystery entity called the body of Christ. It says many are weak. The word weak there does not just mean weak like you don't have energy. Trust me. It means weakness in every fashion. It says for this cause, many are what? Sick among you. And many sleep. The word sleep there is the word die. It's God speaking to us. That means somewhere in the body of Christ is a key that corrects weakness. Somewhere in the body of Christ is a key that can turn sick people to become healthy. Somewhere in the body of Christ is a mystery that can keep men long. Listen please. There are certain dimensions of spiritual reality that your personal work with God cannot deliver unto you. You have to learn this. Everything is not delivered to you on the platform of your personal altar and work with God. There are certain dimensions of God that only come on account of the corporate release. The, the treasures that come, they are not given to a person. They are only given through a person, but they are for the body. There are certain dimensions of God that will never show up when you are alone. That dimension only comes when believers are gathered together. 
if believers are not gathered together, that dimension of spiritual activity cannot happen. For instance, if no one man could bring the Holy Spirit to the earth. Are we together? 120 people had to be gathered together. That spiritual formation created the room for the Holy Ghost to come. Are we together now? When the church was being threatened, right? The church was being threatened. The Bible says that they prayed, but they came together. So there are certain levels of persecution that comes upon the church. The prayer of one man cannot stop it. It takes the prayer of a body. And in God's economy, two or more people form the body. One man, there are certain possibilities. He said, where two or three are gathered in my name. Is God helping us, please? One of the things that I really want us to have is spiritual intelligence. Say spiritual intelligence. It is the secret that helps men to do business in God's economy. You have to understand how God's system operates. So, there are treasures locked up in the body. Ah, you know, while I was preparing to come, the Holy Ghost gave me a revelation that touched my heart. And this is what he said. The Bible tells us um, that when Jesus was born, listen, there was a star. Is that true? A star that was shining so bright at the east and the magi, those we call the wise men, they saw that star and they followed that star and came where Jesus was. Is that true? And then they bowed down and they worshipped him. Now listen. A savior was born on earth. Listen. Who could do a lot of things but there were people who did not know. So on that earth, there was someone who was born. But they could not know. However, certain people decided to pursue and say let's find out. And they found out that savior and it blessed them. Do you know that when Jesus walked upon the earth, there were people who were never healed. I believe they were not interested in healing because in that dispensation there was a man who had the ability to solve their problem. Jesus did not heal every sick person. He healed those who came to him. He healed those who pursued him and sought after him. He didn't just come and volunteer and say, I'm concerned about this, your situation. No. When people were hungry, Jesus said, feed them. And the production of the miracle, Andrew had to come with five loaves and two fish. And Jesus said, okay, you have come to me. He always responded to people's hunger and passion. Let me tell you something. God is not a welfare officer. He responds to faith and a heart that believes. Your coming to God is proof that you know he is, he exists. And then that is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Say amen. Are we together now? Let me have... Um, come. I need the guys. Four or five gentlemen. Please come. Just stand here. Watch this. I want to teach you something very powerful. Stand. Everybody open your eyes, your ears, your spirit. Two more people, please. This is the body of Christ. Listen, this is the body of Christ. Hold this, Patrick. Hold this. You are here, touching every life. I worship you. Let me have this. I, I worship, worship you. You, you are here. Any other thing? Not hang well, not handkerchief. I was Thank you, sir. Everybody lift, project out what I've given you. Watch this. This is the body of Christ. Are we together? In the body of Christ, there is a phone, true or false. In the body of Christ, there is a Bible, true or false. In the body of Christ, there is a handkerchief, true or false. So when God speaks, 
He speaks based on the provision that is in the body. So God says, anyone who wants to make a call, make a call. And now this guy wonders, is there ever a phone in the body of Christ? Somewhere in the body is somebody who represents a dimension of God that can help men make calls. Follow me. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? When God looks, he does not see, what's your name? He does not see brother Kingsley. He sees his body representing all the possibilities in him. So God tells you, where is the piece of paper that contains the blessings on your life? And you say, oh God, all I have known in my life is that the body of Christ has pure water. And God says, no way. Check, there is a paper. There is a dimension that holds this possibility. But that it does not happen in your life does not mean it's not here. Share what I'm saying. Are we together? This is the power that is vested upon the body. The body is part of Christ. So this is a modem. A modem helps you to access the internet. And God says there is a possibility in me for that dimension. But because you do not know the spiritual system that can help you access this. Are we together now? You may be suffering for this cause. For not discerning what this mystery entity called the body is. Some people will remain jobless forever. Listen please. Some people will remain sick forever. <laughs> Hear what I'm teaching you. Hear what I'm teaching you. I spoke, was it last week or two weeks ago about spiritual tribes. The system of God that represents his possibilities. I told you that our personal spiritual growth is based on relationship. But kingdom advancement is based on covenant. You must understand this. So every time God wants to reveal his dimension to a dispensation, there is a mantle backed up by a throne in heaven that is responsible for that operation. It is those mantles that are represented as lampstands. Are you following me now? There are dimensions of the operation of the spirit. So what happens is, God finds one man, enters a covenant with that man, and the covenant is such that it can authorize the spirit to communicate certain dimensions of spiritual reality through that man to that dispensation. And every other person who must walk in this dimension cannot ignore both the person and the office of this man. Are we together? So, I am God. Watch this. You are thirsty. And you are saying, Oh God, quench my thirst. And God says, I refer you to my body. It's no longer a prayer point. Somewhere in my body, there is a system that was designed to quench your thirst. But through ignorance, arrogance, the lies that we pastors teach people, are we together? We pastors come and because of our ego, we teach people that single-handedly encountering us is encountering the body. So, they camp around the dimension of what we have and do not open up themselves to the multifaceted dimensions. Let me tell you something. Every custodian of this dimension is imperfect to a fault. Now, this is usually where we are cheated because we are sensing that the vessels that hold this perfect gift must be perfect themselves. So we are looking for patterns that look like what we can appreciate before we open up our hearts. Are we together? So you get to a church and um, they may have all kinds of imbalances. Maybe criticizing a Pentecostal church or whatever it is. And they may not allow praying in tongues publicly. And when you see that pattern, it's not what you are used to. You were not trained that way. You were trained to pray and blast and roll on the floor. But the man of God has that limitation. However, in spite of that limitation, there is a spiritual possibility committed to him. That if you approach that meeting with an open heart, you will still live with that grace. 
Are we together? Now, watch this. There are people who, who have opened up themselves to certain men of God, certain meetings, certain encounters. You can come to a church like this and a meeting like this and even be angry. Why are they, um, why are they playing instruments like this? And just because you identified with that system, certain possibilities come upon you. You were not opening your heart to believe hope just because you found yourself in that environment. Hear me. Your life becomes accelerated when you understand the law that governs reception from the body. You may not have the physical privilege to meet all these tribes one on one, but there is a system provided for in Christ that will help you to contact all the possibilities that they have. Please hear what I'm teaching you and you will rise like an edifice. So, call this the prophetic. Call this the healing ministry. Sorry guys, just bring your hands down so you can rest. Can imagine what you are going through. Call this the teaching ministry. Call this the prayer ministry. Call this the prosperity ministry. Call this wisdom and excellence. Call this leadership. It's called the body of what? To teach that this should not be in the body of Christ is apostasy. That it was not committed to you does not mean it was not given to the body. Now, let me tell you where we preachers destroy the body of Christ. Because of our ego, and I understand, it's not easy for we men of God. So be careful. While you are criticizing us, understand that we are humans too. But then, a true servant of God must be able to have the unashamedness to hide your individualism and say, Look, this is the beacon of light. This is the lampstand that I present to a generation. However, God's desire is that we open up our spirits to the multifaceted possibilities that exist in his body, not a ministry. By the time I, as a man of God who represents leadership and excellence, tries to give the body a picture that the prophetic is not useful. I, I, are we together now? So you hear me, anybody that prophesies is, is nonsense. All these commercial prophets, they are just nonsense and stupid. Now watch this. When the time comes in my life to need this grace, my hardness will stop the Holy Spirit from flowing in that dimension. Because I have refused to admit that it is a possibility that should be received. So my life is limited. For this cause, many are weak. Are we together? And so, this guy has been given the grace for wealth and prosperity. But now, this prophet or apostle knows how to speak. And then, God opens doors of wealth. So, he will look at this guy and say, all these business guys, they are nonsense. Come to me, so a seed, I lay hands on you, your door will open. He's also in apostasy and error. But any move you make that distorts the full representation of the body is apostasy. A deviation from the truth. Are we together? So, I need the prophetic. I need the word ministry for a great meeting. But I need this ministry to run generator and run and, and marry. And are we together? So, ministry is going well. And now you are ready for introduction. It's 400,000. Your eyes are clearing. You are trying to use this ministry to get this result. And God says, not so. You must find where in the body is already a provision. It will require humility. But because you have made too much mouth that you don't need this ministry. Now, the ego to now humble yourself and say, how do I now read this business book when I've told everybody that all there is to break through is prophecy? If you are getting blessed, say amen. amen. There are many people's confusion that can end. Look, for instance, there may be someone sitting here now who is praying and say, Oh God, fill me with the Holy Spirit. Something as cheap as the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Let me tell you, the day of your breakthrough is the day you choose to believe the body. It's not just the day God wants. 
you can, the Bible says today if you hear his voice, that today is the day you read that scripture and believe. There are people who, you know, when people call me and say, man of God, I, I, I cannot imagine, I want to be filled with the Holy Ghost. I say something as basic as that, in the realm of the spirit, that, that's, that's kindergarten. But because you have ignored that the body of Christ can bring these possibilities. All you need to do is to know that a house like Koinonia has been committed these dimensions of the Holy Spirit. You don't even have to see me. You don't even have to ask the prayer leaders to pray for you. Just find your way on Tuesday. Stay in that atmosphere and let that possibility... You may just go and... I mean, before the prayer starts, you've received your own. When the donkey was missing they said let's try to look for that donkey and when they tried and it looked like nothing will happen I hope you know they would have said Kai there is no hope of it being found let's go back just the same way you said Kai I feel too much I can't rise no you do not know what provision in the body was assigned for the rising of people so because you do not know your ministry will remain grounded forever you are hearing testimonies every day that there were people worse than you who encountered these graces and roads. As I look at preachers, as I look at churches, the privilege of the apostolic office is such that you have the opportunity to bring governmental order to a system and a territory. I can step into a meeting or travel to a territory for a conference and look at the pastors and at once I cannot the spiritual dimension missing in that territory, which is a reflection of how they have closed their heart to certain possibilities in the spirit. So I can step into a meeting and see excellence, but men do not pray. Five minutes prayer, you just see them pray and they are sipping tea, taking this. I know that they have ignored this dimension out of the body. Through their preaching, through their saying, prayer is not everything. Get knowledge, get knowledge, and because the man of God does not pray. He has created a theological explanation to justify his not praying. And the members have followed suit. So I look at them, lean and hungry. I know they are weak. When they talk, you don't hear that echo that comes from the prayer life. There is, there is an unction that only prayer can deliver. Bible study will not bring it. When you hear a man speak, that his altar resonates through his voice. I'm not talking of a husky voice. I'm speaking spiritual languages. Only men of prayer understand what I'm saying. So they come up and say, it doesn't matter. Is there excellence? Yes. Are there balloons? Absolutely. Is there a nice projector? Yes. But are there healings? No. Is there transformation? No. People come with their burdens and go back. And I look at that body. And part of the apostolic ministry, please hear me. That's why, let me tell you something. The apostolic office is not name. The apostolic ministry, you know how Anamoeba is. Biology. Basic biology. The apostolic ministry is designed such that when you enter a territory, you can assume any shape by God to let him introduce what is missing in that territory. You have to believe. That's why the true dealing of an apostle is stringent and is almost unbearable because your job is to supply the dimension of the spirit that is missing. That sometimes you yourself are not called into that dimension. But because you occupy the office of an apostle, God will deal to you for that meeting to force you to introduce that dimension. Is God speaking to us? Learn this and you will rise as if the devil does not exist. The body is still rich. The healing anointing is still in the body. It just left your church because your pastor is not willing to accept that he needs impartation of the healing anointing. Are we together? Your pastor has been lying that he's having a heavy healing anointing and is not telling in the story. And we men of God hate submission. We hate the fact that we can say, I was ministered to and this ministration opened me to this new possibility. We would rather say I labored in the secret place and God gave it to me. Meaning I am the custodian of it is a lie. When Jesus appeared to Paul, 
it is told Paul, I recommend you to somebody in the body of Christ. Go and wait there three days. You would think that Jesus' appearing will mean Paul did not need any man again. But God still drove him. So there are people who have gotten the dimension of the Holy Spirit. But they have ignored Papa Kumui simply because they do not like him. And the lapse of what he represents to the body is killing them. There is a lot of carnality and unseriousness. Because they have refused to know that there is such a provision in the body. There are men who have insulted Bishop Oyedeko and do not know, ah, God let my people be rich. No, we are going to heaven. They are poor, they are broke, the ministry can increase. They have finished all their prayer. All that is needed for the ministry to thrive is finances. But they have ignored this provision in the body. Who is God speaking to tonight? See, let me tell you. Why suffer forever when the remedy has been paid for? Why not open your eyes and humble yourself and allow the Spirit of God to show you the system He has built to tap in, in the multifaceted possibilities? Look at me. I say this with all humility. There are impotent men and barren women who would die impotent and die barren forever. I say it with every sense of apology and I say it with every sense of honor. The, the humility to tap the provision that is in the body of Christ. I once met a woman years ago. I think it was in a meeting quite a long time. Let me tell you, I don't know what kind of grace was on this mama, but if she prays for you for pregnancy, just go and start buying baby clothes because you must give birth. It's, the question now is whether it's twins or triplets. Not that you'll be pregnant. There is a provision like that in the body. Is God speaking to us? Have you heard people here, look at that lady saying she made her papers. She knew what she wrote. Sometimes it's not your effort. Sometimes it's the cloud that provides certain possibilities. See that? Those who know this never get arrogant. You know. Let me tell you something. I have seen... There's one man of God outside of this country. He's Benihin's son. True son, not just fake stories. True son. That guy... Is not educated that guy you will know that this guy does not understand the system of church growth but because he has been able to identify with what Benihin represents to the body that guy carries a tangible healing anointing you see the testimonies in his church you would think he's a charm because he has identified that grace and that office so let me tell you how Satan destroys us the devil creates a system that covers away these possibilities. Are we together? Through pride, hatred for the body, resentment, and through pastors. We may be well-meaning and sincere, but he covers us. So as far as your spiritual growth is concerned, and the path of spiritual progress that an, a pastor has earmarked for you, this is all he has shown you to be the possibilities in Christ. So, you have to respect what you have been given. But you know you are dying of test. You know you are not communicating. There is no revelation in your life. There is no prayer. There is no access to the prophetic. Now, you can stand there. Your progress is based on how much of the body of Christ you have been open to. You will see somebody will come overnight who does not even have, he has not paid half the price you have paid, but he's foolish enough to contact this guy, he will carry a grace and jump and move. And you say, no way. How can a young man be a millionaire in four months? I don't believe this. These guys are 419. Don't say they are 419ers. If you have not tapped into the provision in the body of Christ, is it not a prophet that said, by this time tomorrow? Have you not read it in your Bible? Not to a person, to a nation. Israel. A nation that is a desert land till today is still exporting food. And Nigeria, 80% of the food we eat is exported. Israel is in a desert land because there is something upon Abraham that landed upon them. Do they believe in God? No. You will imagine. Let me tell you, those who have gone to Israel, you know. 
those who are helping you in the facilitation they are not born again when they watch africans come and cry on the wailing wall they wonder oh jesus my savior they are just waiting for you to give them their money they don't believe in god but they are part of a tribe that god has covenanted with himself that they will keep seeing certain possibilities koinonia are you hearing what i'm saying i give you a guarantee if you pay attention to what i'm saying your life will rise like day and night my only prayer is that you will not suspect yourself when you are rising there is a way you rise too fast that you turn and say ah, i hope i didn't put my hand in anything that is ungodly i can't understand why my life is rising like this listen whatever you see happening in the life of one man in christ came from the body is reproducible it is it has the ability to be transferred and it has the ability to be recreated if you understand the laws that govern it people kept criticizing william branham i didn't used to work so much in the prophetic here and there one word of knowledge everybody teaches on william branham and they made it look as if the guy backslided went to hell he's in fact is i've read william branham's books i've explored his materials left right and center including those where there were a lot of erroneous propositions but let me tell you something the earth will hardly find a meek man like william branham very few prophets on earth today have come near the shoes of william branham it's just that there was no mechanism of preserving their audios and their videos like we do now so you may just watch one or two videos where you don't see anything those men live like gods upon the earth they are the ones the bible says the earth is not worthy of are we together william branham every time people criticize him he brought error to the body yes there were imbalances but he's a man one day i was watching his video i think it was a retreat heavily under the anointing i was watching his video and something happened as i was looking at him i said oh god but there is we have we have insulted the anointing out of this man there are there are possibilities that are supposed to come to the body that we ignore because of our our attitude of of that judgmental cynical attitude we inherited from our parents that is still destroying people and churches today while i was watching something happened now i have a lot of encounters i live in this realm but then it was like it was like you know how you pour oil on someone but it was such a cold sensation not just the sensation you have i knew something was happening i was looking at this man my eyes were heavy with tears and it's as if it's a machine going down your body slowly it took maybe about 30 minutes to go down and reach my feet i didn't know what had happened and every time let me teach you a secret whenever you have an encounter you don't understand pray in tongues pray in tongues pray in tongues will begin to give meaning to it not not pray for five minutes and sleep i mean stand up and pray it is like a shell you are opening it up spiritually and your mind will begin to receive the impulses that have been communicated to your spirit i began to pray and the next meeting i would go for it was it was like it was like somebody just washed my eyes with water and all of a sudden i saw that there was a heightened prophetic dimension a heightened ability and i said wow something happened i believe i've not even started tapping into 100 of that impartation that i got so i'm still aligning more by the time i align fully my life will release the full potential of what had come because let me tell you mantles depend on certain atmosphere to work um i can receive a man to listen i can receive a mantle but if my mind is not developed i will limit the access to that man to find an expression are we together so i can function and you may see me you can carry the anointing upon my life and produce more results because the anointing is coming on a body that has been better prepared moses was a stammerer so he could not manifest the prophetic anointing on him so much but when that anointing now came on 70 people they could not stand that's what one man was carrying yet he didn't prophesy are you hearing what i'm saying now say after me the body of christ has been vested 
with every dimension required to represent God. Say it again, the body of Christ has been vested with every dimension required to represent Christ. Are we together? Now, it's, your, it's up to you to choose what dimension you desire to see in your life. A very shared a testimony, her family, who at this time of Nigeria's economy will call you to send money free. That is not happening in your life does not mean it's not happening. Let me tell you, there are people, this is the happiest year of their life. I can tell you that. Now, it's always insulting when results are not happening in your life and are happening close to you. So you react to it with criticism, you react to it with resentment, but the key is to find out what are you doing. Someone sent me a text and said, um, Apostle, I want you to confirm this. It's like the love of men is waxing cold in the body of Christ. I said, that's an error. Go and think again. The church is rising powerfully. You are the only one going down. Find out what you are not doing. People are praying more than ever before. Oh, come on. Revelation is coming upon the body more than before. Don't come up with your misguided thing that the church is going down. Who is the church? Don't say the church. Say, I, as a member of the church, is hot. Like you can say, I have headache. And then the body can come together and help you. And say, it is true, you have headache. Let's bring you out. Don't use your headache to say the body is sick. Because let me tell you, the church is rising. What I'm teaching you will change your life. Look at our, our brother, this gentleman. Come, sir. You're the person who gave that testimony? Come. This guy came from Benway State. All the way. About to destroy... Come, 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 come. How are you? This guy about to destroy himself to commit suicide. Are you seeing that now? If this guy committed suicide and died, what do you think will happen? We are going to sing. Thus will we pass from the earth and its folly. That's we are carrying his grave now. Remember by what? Dear lies. What's your name? Our brother James. He died. It's a warning to all of us. No, no, no. I'm not mocking. Pay attention to what I'm saying. This guy, whereas one message one message held the possibility of reviving his life please listen i'm saying this with every sense of passion because we still need to press we have stopped them there are some of us who carry these mantles but they are not developed enough to start serving the body so your lack of prayer is making the body die in a certain way this message is a is a call to rise and develop your contribution to making the body right. Imagine if I was a drunkard. Or imagine that I started drinking January 1st because I'm weary. The message that would need to help this guy. Do you know standing here may be a pastor or a prophet to nations. So as I, as I refuse to manifest and he dies, the nation tied to him dies. The purposes of God for that nation dies. Look at the ripple effect. Are we together? He has come now. And you can see that this guy is going to catch fire tonight. No, no, no. He will. It's not. We have it. This is what I'm saying. You must know what you have as given by God. It's not for pride. It's to distribute to the body. He says, such as I have, this is, you can pray for it somewhere else because it's not part of the spiritual composition of that ministry. But here we have it. It was given. It's an office. The same way there are some things that are not in koinonia. If we need it here, we must open our hearts to other members of the body with all humility. There are some things that don't happen as a gift here in koinonia. They happen through prayer. We pray and tap. But there are ministries, it happens like breathing. Some of you receive a lot of testimonies. If you see someone rolling under the anointing in Koinonia, you will not be surprised because it's an office. 
There are churches, if one person is rolling the pastor says, I've been telling you that God has increased me. I've been saying this thing. Now, it's not to mock, it's not, it's not mockery. I'm saying there are spiritual possibilities. How you know what is available in a ministry is what the people in that ministry trivialize because they've seen it so much. It's in abundance. You don't pray for it. You don't fast for it. You enter this place and you are shaking like a leaf because there is a covenant that makes this possible. This is a gentleman. Now, if I'm a stupid man of God, I'm going to do two things. And this is a warning to many pastors. When this guy comes now, because he has come to Koinonia, let me tell you what most foolish men of God do. They try to say, you have gone to every other pastor. Are, are, you, are, you, are you seeing where we destroy the body now? You have gone to every other man. But when you came to Koinonia, everybody rises. And me, who is the champion you are talking about, I now rise. Those who do that, God is soon coming for them. Because that attitude is part of why the body does not grow. So, when this brother comes now, I do not isolate my impact to his life as though I'm different from the body. I just tell him, no, no, no. Whatever you receive here, I hide my individualism so that the body of Christ will be glorified. It does not matter that it is Joshua Selman. The most important thing is I have represented Christ properly. Your kingdom reigns. Yes, he reigns. Through this place. right now we are all looking at him what a foolish man of God would do is to make him hate every other man of God who has talked to him are you seeing now I can make this guy hate every other man of God in Benway State or whoever so the next time he's watching TV and he sees maybe a living faith or any ministry there what he's going to say is all of you are rubbish you are wasting our time only koinonia now it looks like he's glorifying me, but he's destroying the image of Christ. I must leave this guy with an impression that makes him love the body of Christ. Because although he found an anointed man, although he found an anointed ministry, we hide our individualism that Christ be lifted. So as he's going to Benway, I will tell him, okay, take messages, but open your heart. God is doing great things in Benway. He's doing great things in Lagos. Don't even in a city where you think there are no people. I've gone to cities where you think God is not doing anything. But there are dangerous people in that city that God is lifting. So he comes here tonight and leaves loving the body. He comes here tonight. He receives the graces and the mantles that have been committed to this ministry. But he goes back loving the body. The next time he enters a church where the man of God is preaching and honestly what the man of God is saying is nothing to write home about. He will understand the limitation of that man but not hate the man. So the body has risen because a man of God with spiritual intelligence has been able to minister to this. Listen, the ministry of the spirit is very important. That's why you must be thoroughly worked upon by the spirit. I can be anointed but I will still destroy him. Are we together? How many of us have been destroying the body of Christ with our misguided understanding? And there are many more who want to rise. And so God says, calm down. Before you rise, let me walk on you. And say, God, I laid hands on somebody that day and the person fell down. I'm ready to go. And then God says, tarry ye. I'm still walking on you. The body of Christ. Every one of them holding possibilities. Like you have a doctor. Doctors write certain things and recommend other people to a hospital in India. They say there is 
the world-renowned eye surgeon is in India. Although I'm a consultant, I refer you to that guy. Because this situation, I want you to go and whatever he tells you to do, we can execute it here. That's the medical field. That's why they are helping people. But in the church, I can claim I'm an anointed man now. And then I look at this guy and I say, in the name of Jesus, I cast out that spirit. And then I say, it's done. You too, you know, nothing happened here. Are we together? The man said, if I be a man of God, go and launch into new dimensions. This guy goes back and starts smoking as soon as he gets to bed with, because the spirit was there. Unmoved by the arrogance of the man of God. That's how we destroy many people. Someone comes and tells you, I have, I am SS. And he said, in the name of Jesus, it is done. Go. The person comes back and says, nothing happened. And he said, well, you see, faithless people like you, I don't know why there are too many testimonies in my life. No, no. That's a foolish man of God. A man of God who really loves God will say, look, I will keep praying for you. But I want your heart to be open. There are still possibilities in the body. So when God says all things are possible, they are not possible just because you are a Christian. They are possible because he has distributed these dimensions to the body. Is God speaking to you? Please hear me, brothers and sisters. You may be born again and still die in poverty. If you ignore what God represents, the systems he has built, you are not going to create... Look... This guy will not pray himself into becoming excellent. No. His prayer life will not suddenly manufacture into this. His prayer life will give him the revelation that will make him come and meet this person. Are we together? This guy is excellent, but he's not going to heal the sick with balloons and stickers. He's going to heal the sick when his spirit is alive and strong. And that will happen when he acknowledges the ministry of this. Listen, meeting the people is not necessarily how to receive. Just being open to the body alone. Let me tell you something. There are ministries that I have received from, even more than the members of that ministry. I have never seen their pastors. I have never gone to those ministries, but just because my heart is open. I have received wisdom from people like Dr. Mike Murdoch. I've never been to the Wisdom Center. I've never sat down one-on-one -on -one under his ministration. But my heart has been open to what he represents to the ministry. He's an apostle of wisdom. Whether you say seed, seed, seed is collecting money. I take what I believe is consumable for me. And whatever part I think is an excess, I lovingly just drive it. But I don't throw the baby under the bad water. I know how to receive from ministries, I tell you. This is a message for us. And God is helping us. We are going to really pray tonight. Discerning the body. Give us that scripture again. For this cause. Not for this causes. For this cause. You have written jam ten times. Who told you there is no way out? But sir, I always read. That's what you think is responsible for success alone. But there is a provision in the body. Do you believe this? I remember the doctor when he was giving his testimony. When he came and met me, he said he's going to go and write exams. I said, go and be a doctor. Listen, Korede Komaya, many of you may know him. He pastors a church in Wari. The wife of um, Bishop, um, what's his name? In Living Faith. Not Abioye. Um, Bishop Aremu. They have twins. And so she came to greet the woman. And Bishop Aremu's wife looked at Korede Komaya's wife. And he looked at her and took what the veil she was putting. Threw it on her and said, what are you doing? Go and get twins, Joe. Immediately, she was pregnant with twins. She's giving birth to twins now. Now, you have been crying for twins. But there is a woman with the mantle. She's even playing with it. Go and get twins, Joe. In the body. But there are some people saying, Lord, one child, whether the child is well or not, just give me something that comes out of me. Whereas, the but please, I want you to take what I'm saying very seriously. I am a product of many anointings. I keep rising because I love the body, not just because I'm anointed. 
I was not born with every possibility in my life. I honored my way through them. And the key is to love the body. The body may be imperfect. I know there are false prophets. But the, the prophetic mantle is still in Nigeria. I know there are false apostles. But the prophetic mantle is still. I know there are money mongers. But there are still people with the prosperity mantle. Don't just because you have one or two case studies. Throw everything in the body of Christ. And you destroy yourself. Is God speaking to us? You have to change your perception. Way make a miracle work, a promise. Light in the darkness. That is who you are. Sing it to him. Way make a miracle work, a promise. Light in the darkness. can choose the way people are trying to be established and be established at 45 and build your first house at 55 and die at 60 of high blood pressure or you can find out Lord is there a system you have created that can help men run Elijah told Ahab saddle your ass Ahab always knew that if you must run you run on donkeys so he had the best donkey but there was another system foreign to Ahab but the prophet knew it. The Bible says the hand of God came upon him. Let me tell you something. All the methods you know is not all there is. There are faster and more effective routes to anything. I have seen men, brothers and sisters, within two years of their work with God, they have carried graces and unctions that will make other people angry and say, I sought God for ten years before the healing anointing came. I don't know how you sought him. But this brother sought him in a system that made two years become like 20 years. This is the key to advancement. If God says this is our year of multiplied grace, then there is a technology he wants to give you to run. Let me tell you, we have been working, but it's time to run. It's time to run. The key is discerning the body. The key is discerning the body. The Lord instructed me to empty my account and sow it into a particular ministry. When I did that, I was shocked. It was like charm. One month of non-stop favor. Permit me to use the word wicked favor. I've seen favor in my life. The same way I have seen pastors who just came and sat down. Some of you are like that. They came from other ministries. They never go to see me. But they went back. And all of a sudden, their next meeting, things just changed. One man of God went to, I think it was Bishop Oedeko or so, and sowed the seed. I shared with you the story. Oedeko said, now that you have come, it's recognized that you have a church in your area. You know that looks arrogant, isn't it? But the man knows what he's saying. The man went back and in one service, they had 500 newcomers. 500. 500. Listen, the men of God and the spiritual structures that carry these systems may have their arrogance, they may have their imperfections, but create a system to look beyond it. You know what you are finding. If you find God, you will find Him. If you are finding a loud, you will find Him. But for you to think all you have seen is all there is in God, you are joking. Please hear me. This thing called favor does not just fall on people because you read it in scripture. There are men carrying this thing bodily. It's like a mantle on their head. Anywhere they go. Anywhere they go. We were at the airport. I was just sitting down. We were waiting for a boarding call. And while we were sitting, a gentleman just came. A man of God. He said, sorry, are you Apostle Joshua Selman? I said, ah, somebody has come to embarrass me again. And then the person, you know, we just spoke. And he just said, excuse me. He just went and put money in an envelope and brought it and dropped it. Just like that. Is he working in your life? Some of you know. Why? Because you think it must come through your personal secret place. Look, God has created. Do you know the spiritual discipline it takes 
for a man to carry some of these things. People have labored for you so that by the grace of God and through the power of a corporate life, you can enter into certain possibilities. Trying to dig the well afresh, your lifetime is not enough to enter every dimension by yourself. If it takes 10 years to catch a particular spiritual possibility, how long do you have to live to get all of them? So God has created men. Your honor and your love for the body opens you up automatically to that dimension. Those of us who have the art of criticizing the body, you own your television and everybody, you keep scrolling channel after channel, insulting everybody. You go to church and your pastor, you look at him, saying all these Anglican people say, they are about to just keep quiet. Look for Christ and you will find him. Look for excellence you will find it. Look for anointing. Look for prayer. Look for these graces and you will find them. That's what I've chosen to do. I'm, I'm like, that's why I told you I'm like a spiritual archaeologist. I go around the body of Christ with my bag of treasures. When I find it, he said they are life to those who find them. That's how we found the grace for long life. That we transported like gold from Ekiti State to Koinonia. We landed it here. I know how it came. It came from a city and a territory that have a covenant of long life. 141 years still alive. I said, no way, we must receive this. Our seed went for it. But those Yoruba people prayed for us with their... With, the mama prayed on barefoot. When it landed on my life, I knew. We're coming back from Yola. There was so much trouble, turbulence in the air. They had to turn back. The plane turned back from Yola back to Abuja because the turbulence was too much. Now, when they carried us, I mean, it was as if we were going to drop. God is my witness. I was sleeping. Guys, the mysteries that surround my life are many. What you see is not all that there is. You try it and see. It's like Obama. You know how Obama is walking. You want to shoot him and you just die. Somebody shoots you from where you do not know because they are watching. The keeper of Israel. He never sleeps nor slumbers. He's watching over me. That's my testimony. The keeper of Israel. He never sleeps nor slumbers. Yeah. He's watching over me. There are men that have a covenant of deliverance with God. They will enter trouble as if there is no tomorrow. Quarter to say, God will show up. When you have even concluded, David was such a person, Psalm 3. Many a day, he said, how many a day that trouble me? Many a day that rise up against me. Many a day that say, where is his God? He said, but thou, O Lord, art a shield for me. Listen, it's not every man that said that. They didn't have it. David had it. It's called the covenant of peace. In the Hebrew, it's called the covenant of shalom. Peace. The covenant that makes God show up when a man has trouble. There is such a covenant. There is such a mantle. You need it in this Nigeria. You don't need to look for trouble. You just need to be a Nigerian. Trouble will come and find you. But sometimes you cannot defend yourself. But when that mystery is at work, you will see God turn things. It's like Ojoro, they say, no, 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 but I know this person is supposed to three causes. I understand waving one, but three causes. Why you? There is something they do not understand more than the Senate of APU. I want you to believe this. Men walk upon mysteries. That's why two people can go through the same thing. Another person will die. But another person said, I don't know what happened. I was right at the edge of a breakthrough but couldn't see. My troubles held me down. The pressure laid me down. God kept me. So I wouldn't let go. His mercy kept me. So I wouldn't Listen, there are lots of ladies who are saying, no man has come to ask me out. I know I'm not pretty. It's a lie. It's a lie. There are married women with 10 children. And somebody is still saying, sorry, can we have dinner? It's a grace. 
Well, you can argue it because you went to school. I'm telling you, it's a grace. You see, this education is good, but you have to be cheerful. The realm of the spirit is far superior to the intellectual realm. There's a gentleman in this ministry. I've never seen somebody with that grace. There is nothing he does not do that doesn't prosper. He has done all kinds of things. If that guy sells pampas, I don't mean it in a shop from his house. There are no children here, but you will buy it. Something will make you just say, let me buy it and give somebody as a gift. That's the kind of grace he has. I know people who have their shop. They sit down alone and eat everything in the shop because you have business intelligence, but you have not opened up yourself to that dimension. Please, as we begin to pray, let your prayer lift you in the spirit where you scan for where you have ignored. And let's cry out and say, Lord, there is no prosperity in my life. I've been trying to fake it, but this thing is not there. Let it come. Do you know if it comes before miracle service, you can have a testimony that dwarfs everything. It's because you think everything you work, you work for is what you must get. There are people who have worked for things. The grace can direct them to you. For this cause, for this cause there are women who desire men they have six ladies and they are about their home is about to scatter because they are looking for a man and the man is saying this is your last chance if you ever give me a girl you are following that girl to go out of the house of course that's a stupid reason but do you know there is a woman with 12 boys why don't you exchange it Who taught you that these things are not transferable? You can transfer a charge card, MTN share, but you can't transfer spiritual virtue. Who lied to you? You break your 2,000 Naira recharge card and give somebody 500 and he receives it. And you don't believe you can transfer spiritual virtues? Who lied to you that I cannot impart upon you grace for prayer? The, my agreement with God can come on you. Listen, listen. Guys. I don't know how we think sometimes, honestly. I can tell you, I want to browse. I have 5,000 Naira in my phone, true or false. And I can say, okay, send 1,000. You just need to press a code. And your, your amount will be deducted. Abi, and then it will come to somebody. And he's just sitting down and his phone rings. Credited with 1,000 Naira. Did he work for it? You could share it because you are willing to share and he was willing to accept. Who told you you cannot do that spiritually? You can transfer health, not healing, health. You can transfer it. Believe me. If you can transfer sickness, why can't you transfer health? Please answer me. Biology teaches us airborne disease. What's the other one? Waterborne disease. And whatever you want to call, you can transfer it. You can transfer wealth. These things are first spiritual. You can receive it. If you don't believe what I'm saying, get ready to struggle in this life. Because it's not by power. It's not by might. We have ignored God's system of making things easy for us. God is not a wicked God. If you do not walk with the body, and this is all you have, you will make God look like a wicked God. Because you'll be like, oh God, help me. Let me tell you, the answer is not in heaven. Someone on earth is working in your prayer point. And if only your heart will be open. Prayer was not just designed for petitions alone. It was designed as a spiritual system to help you grow. But most of our prayer life has been channeled towards pleading. Because we have ignored the body. Are we together? There are people in life, they may not be so spiritual, but there is, there is no time they cry for help. The help does not arise. There are people like that because their grandmother blessed them and said, may you always find help. She transferred something from her and it landed on that little baby who could not say amen. The baby grew not knowing there was such a possibility. But the baby noticed that every time I go somewhere, help us arrive. Brothers and sisters, it's a grace. There are people who 
Their grandfathers were Habali. Babalao. But they laid hands on them and said, May your eyes see. They grew up as children from age four, five. They started seeing. They are not born again. Because originally from God, they were called to walk in a prophetic dimension. But it was corrupted. Although the transference came through divination, when they get born again, God does not cancel it. It only corrects it. There is a switch of kingdoms upon which that possibility operates. That's why when an occultist gets born again, he doesn't stop seeing vision. It only comes back under the authority of Christ. I'm speaking to you by the Spirit. There are dimensions of the Spirit that are possible. See, this house, Koinonia, is a great house. This house, Koinonia, is a great house. There are all kinds of possibilities for your taking. Now, you can sit down and argue it. Is this thing real? Is this possible? Or you can say, Lord, I'm tired. It's not this hard. I'm, it's, it's not this hard. Now, for the next 10 minutes, we are going to pray. Listen. Your prayer, you are not asking God for anything. You are just going to pray in the Spirit. I want you to prepare your spirit for a distribution of mantles. A distribution of mantles. A distribution of possibilities. 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 Results are possible in the kingdom. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Listen. Listen. Listen, let me teach you something. There are pastors here. You have never seen the hand of God show up in your meetings. It's an insult on yourself. It's not, it's not about prayer and fasting. There are cheap possibilities you can step into. There are churches, there are prayer groups for years. You are four, five, you become 20, you come back to three. Why punish yourself? It's not so hard. Why don't you open up your spirit to receive? There are people, there's no man in your life to help you. You work for everything. It's a cost. Don't think you are making progress just because you have a job. It's a cost to not have helpers show up for you. There is a place called Zion. And God can send help to men. We are a ministry that has been greatly helped by God. Do you believe that? We are going to pray. The next two to three minutes I want you to pray. Listen. Anointing is not just a spiritual thing that lands on your head. No. An anointing is simply... An impartation that opens a dimension of spiritual possibility. Please hear what I'm saying. An anointing does not do everything. Your request directs its operation. Are we together now? You don't just say, God anoint me. It's not a wise prayer. Father, everything is working in my life for this prosperity thing. Lord, I don't see helpers arise for me. I beg and I struggle for everything. I get in trouble and pay for it by myself. There is an anointing for exemption. Lord, I see that there is no influence in my life. You know the area you need grace for. I'd like you to pray like your heart will come out of your body. Cry for the dimension you must see in your life.
Hallelujah. I'm going to give us three prayer points. I want you to pray it with fire. Because as you pray it, God will answer it. Number one. Father, the anointing for speed. The anointing for speed. That I will run. Everybody will see that this is speed. Release it upon me in the name of Jesus. Pray, pray, pray. Speed. Brothers and sisters, what you are receiving in this prayer will speak. I assure you, it will. It will. Please don't think God is playing games with you. We are not serving an idol. I show you a mystery that has made and is making my life. I know what I'm saying. Prayer point number two. Lord, multiply my results. Multiply my results. Lift your voice and pray. Multiply my results. Multiply my results. Financial results. attire of masquerade. Some of us where we come from, you know men who are also masquerade. There is a language they use. When you see men who are masquerade, they say they cook them. Abi, they say they cook the man. That's why he can speak. That's what is happening to you now. That, that thing that they say they cook a man. That you come out and it will be like charm is on you. That's what is happening. The last prayer point. Or at least the next one. Listen. People hear me. Hear me. I don't know how to beg you to pray this prayer point. But you've, you've heard me say it. I'd like you to call your helpers. Listen. Koinonia, listen. 
until your helper shows up, you can remain in one position for decades. Listen, a helper is not a volunteer. A helper is a man anointed to rescue you. Listen, you may die and not be able to move to certain dimensions until a helper arises. Listen, listen. There are many families with no helpers. There are many lives with no helpers. There are people who need jobs, no helpers. Intelligence, no helpers. It's a prayer I pray every day. Listen, there is no helper that comes on his own accord. They are called. I have seen financial helpers in my life. I have seen all kinds of helpers. Any good information that can help Koinonia, they call me, man of God, there is so and so. Have you considered it? Listen, you need them to move forward. Say in the name of Jesus. Shout it, Koinonia, in the name of Jesus. Tonight, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I speak to the spirit of my helpers. Share the word of the Lord. Show up in my life. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. married because a helper showed up. Many people have gotten jobs. There are people, I have been a destiny helper to many people. I remember someone who was trusting God for promotion and in a meeting I met somebody who was like um, a representative of that company and I called the person. I said I know this person. Please if there is any assistance they can render honestly out of respect for me that guy was promoted to a position that even surprised me. Help us. Somebody needs to talk to somebody about you. You can't talk to them. Say in the name of Jesus. Whoever needs to talk about me. For my help to come. I release you to speak on my behalf. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Oh, I release you. Have this power. in now you can't bring yourself out it's not just by prayer and fasting you need a human vessel to show up we are going to pray 
say in the name of Jesus every mountain standing before me every closed door standing before me whoever holds the key by prophecy I call the person open that door for me lift your voice and pray open that door says verily verily I say unto you if you have faith as small as the monster said he said thou shalt say to this mountain listen every challenge in your life has a spirit component to it we are still rounding up but make sure you pray this prayer pray it with everything you have say in the name of Jesus every disappointment Every shame, every challenge in my life, sponsored by hell, I declare that the powers behind those problems, you come on that judgment now. Lift your voice and pray. Every power behind the disappointment. many of us God wants to bless you but your heart has been closed so you do not receive other blessings from the body this prayer is going to open you up to the possibilities in the body say in the name of Jesus I repent from criticizing the body say in the name of Jesus my heart is open to every blessing Every dimension, every possibility in the body. Therefore, I call every anointing, every grace, every mantle, every unction required for my next level. Come upon my life. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Every mantle.
accept your under the anointing, please lay your hands on your head. I want to speak to you. Don't worry, instrumentalist, you can play. Exceedingly. for koinonia and waste your time. Isaiah 48 Verse 17 Thus saith the Lord thy Redeemer the Holy One of Israel Stretch your hands towards me I am the Lord thy God who teacheth thy hands to profit Listen the hand of a man represents his labor. It's the mystery that brings abundance. I want to pray for you. Many of you will enter dimensions of breakthrough. 
by this prophetic act. In the name that is above all names, I put my hands out to you. if you can stand on your feet the Bible says they know not neither will they understand please listen he told Abraham he said look eastward southward northwards he says everywhere the sole of your feet treads upon listen there is a mystery of dominion that men can hold firm grasp of territories and dimensions. I've taught you there are five elements upon which the supernatural finds expression. Number one is light. <laughs> Number two, fire. Number three, Wind. Number four, the earth. Are we together? One of the mysteries that we're using. Listen, the earth is a universal point of contact. No matter how high a building is, it must make contact with the earth. I want to pray for you. This is a very deep mystery. Very deep mystery. It's time for you to come into supernatural dimensions of influence. This is an impartation for influence. <laughs> listen, listen. When it was time, listen. When it was time for Jacob to bless his sons, he said, put your hand under my thigh. I'm about to speak to you and impart grace for influence. There is a grace. There is a grace. I pray for you. You are stepping upon the ground. I'm not speaking to you now. I speak to the earth. You have ears and you have doors. Hear the word of the Lord. I speak to you according to the measure of grace that has been given to me. I pray in the name of Jesus that every time your people are in trouble, for as long as the earth, their feet is upon the earth, let the earth fight for them. Tell me. Job said in times of war you will be exempted because you have made a covenant with the stone. I pray for you. For as long as your feet is on the ground, may no man be able to defeat you. 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 I pray for you. As you are stepping your feet on this ground, go where you could not go. Enter where you could not enter. The unction and the grace for new territories I release upon you now. I release upon you now. New territories in the spirit. New territories in finances. New territories of influence. New territories in the name of Jesus. New territories. I 
Hallelujah. Listen. The last prophetic act. Stay with your feet. Listen. <laughs> ah, yeah. The Bible says, Jericho was a fortified city. No man could break into it. The men, the Israelites, were not strong in themselves. And the Lord said, you are going to use your feet as a prophetic act to bring that city down. It says, walk around. It didn't say sing. It didn't say clap. Use your leg and match the earth. Make contact with the earth from which you came. Seven times. Hold on. I'm not telling you to do it. And the moment they did it, the Bible says, on the seventh day, go around seven times. And then it said, after that seven times, shout. And when they shouted, the wall did not fall. It sank. I pray for you. The same way every physical mountain is connected to the earth. There is no mountain hanging in the space. It makes contact with the earth. I pray for you. In the name of the Lord God of heaven. As your feet is stepping upon this ground. Any human agent. Any spiritual agent. Responsible for the predicament in your life. If I be called of God. This night. This night. I declare. May the angels of judgment. Strike those men. Strike those women. Strike those altars. Strike those men. If they will not let you go. Strike those men. In the name of Jesus. I the lift you the head. I smite them. I smite them in their sleep. I smite them while they are awake. May the earth fight them. I want to pray that prayer again. We are rounding up. I say it again. Whoever is responsible for the tears of any man standing here, as surely as there is a God, please hear me. I'm speaking prophetically. In the name that is above all names, that force that will refuse to let you rise, by the Lord God of heaven, that name called the man of war, Sabaoth, the avenger of men. Right now, I command those altars, wherever they are, as they are standing on the ground, may they catch fire now. Right now, may they catch fire now. May they catch fire now. May they catch fire now. I release your breakthrough. I release your healing. I release your miracle. Hallelujah. In one minute, I'd like to prophesy and say I'm rising to another dimension. No force. Go ahead and pray. No force. No power. No spirit. Are you praying? No force. No power. No spirit. No force, no power, no spirit. Hallelujah. Every family under shame and disgrace here, I declare in the name of Jesus that that plague of shame and disgrace comes to an end now. It comes to an end now. Whatever has made a mockery of your family before men, they look at you and it's like a subject of apology. By the mystery of the body, I pray right now, let things change. Let things change. By the supply of the Spirit, let things change. Everybody here who has written an exam, who ordinarily you are supposed to fail, it would have been a carryover now. I pray for you. I change it from the realm of the Spirit. I change it from the
in the realm of the spirit, by the mercy of the God of David, by the goodness of the God we serve, I change it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Every academic breakthrough you desire that ordinarily would not have happened to you, I pray by the grace that is upon this house, step into that desire. Step into that desire. Step into that desire. In the name of Jesus. You have no business getting a job before the year runs, but the word can create. You have no business coming out of pain. You have no business, but the word, the Rima word, revealed, backed by the power of God. You have no business being healed today, but the Bible says to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To appoint means to set the date when it happens. Not only to reveal that it will happen, to make it happen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please hear me. Shake away unbelief from your mind as we begin to pray. Don't let the, the devil will use the flesh. This is not the first time you are attending a miracle service, he will tell you. This is not the first time men of God are praying for you. The moment those things come, you have the responsibility of fortifying your mind. You refuse, reject it. You can insist by faith that tonight is my night. You can insist by faith. Father, the grace that has not come upon my life before tonight is the night it will come. Lord, the dimension that have not been opened to yet, this is the night I will receive. Hear me. Hear me. There are no special days for anybody. It is your faith that makes it special. The Bible said today, if you hear his voice, any day can be that today. Mm. Are we together? Blind Bartimeo is at the way towards Jericho. And Jesus will be passing for the last time. And the guy would have said one day he will come back again. And he would have missed it. The Bible says he cried. He cried, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus looks at him and with what you would think is sarcasm, he said, what should I do for you? And then he says to regain my sight. And that man regained his sight. Only people who insist with understanding receive anything. Hoping and wishing that God will touch me is a waste of time. We'll share the grace and you'll go back frustrated. But there are people who have come. Some of you have been fasting. Some of you traveled from outside of this nation within this nation with hunger. There are people standing outside, people following online. Why will you allow the service finish and you just go back like that? You are a man of God. You have come from far. Why don't you carry something of substance that you can go back with as a witness that you met with the power of God? Is God speaking to us? One scripture and then we'll pray. Isaiah 61. This is a scripture that is very powerful. The hand of God is moving in overflow one. I continue to see this thing. Overflow one. I'm seeing it's an impartation. It's not just a deliverance. There is a pouring of graces that is coming on specific people. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord had ordained the word anointed there is ordained ordained me to preach good tidings to the meek he had sent me to bind up the broken hearted to proclaim liberty to the captives the opening of prison to them that are bound verse 2 to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn. All, not some. Three, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, giving them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. It says that they might be called. 
the tree saw the oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. Go to verse 4. And they shall build the old wastes. They shall raise up the former desolations. They shall repair the waste cities and the desolations of many generations. I believe in the power of God. I believe in the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I believe in the limitless dimension of what the Spirit of God can do upon it. How shall these things be, Mary said, seeing that I know not a man. He says the power of the highest shall overshadow, not come upon, overshadow. You are under the influence of the Spirit of God. And under the influence of the Holy Spirit, there is nothing that cannot happen. Please listen to me. Under the influence of the Spirit, time can be compressed. Under the influence of the Holy Spirit, there are things that should not happen, but can happen. Now the Lord is that spirit, the Bible says. This Lord we have been talking about is that spirit. Not just the Father seated on the throne. The Lord who delivered the righteous. The Lord who anoints is that spirit. And it says where the spirit of the Lord is, you will know that he is there by the miracles. You know that he is there, not just because you ask him to come alone. You are here. Working miracles, I worship you, I worship you, you are here, turning lives around, I worship you, I worship you. Releasing destinies, I worship you, I worship you. in a place not just because you believe by faith but there are tokens there are representations that attest to and validate the fact that he's in the midst of his people listen let me tell you my brothers and my sisters tonight you are in for an encounter you are in for an experience it's a shift in the spirit and I want you to believe we are immersed in an atmosphere of limited possibilities limitless possibilities do not allow the devil to lie to you that your case is so great that God cannot meet you that God cannot touch you let God be true and let every man be a liar hallelujah now, but listen, I learned this from Pastor Benny Hinn. I will share this briefly and then we'll begin to pray. Having worked in the healing ministry for more than half of a century, Benny Hinn shared that one of the challenges he had observed with people when the power of God begins to move is they are not ready to release the pain the sickness, the infirmity. You will think just because you are in God's presence and you expect him to touch you, to heal you, he will not take something from you that you are still holding back. This mystery was demonstrated in the woman with the alabaster box. When she came to Jesus, the Bible says it was made of spikenard, pure nard, a year's wages. She broke it at his feet and it became an instrument of worship there are people who come with medical reports they come with pain they are just coming to inform god that this is what they are going through they are not ready for the exchange yet 
Listen, this is a very simple but powerful spiritual key. When you come to God, the Bible says the instruction is to believe that he exists. Number two, that he is the rewarder of them who diligently seek him. How does he reward? There must always be an exchange. Your weakness for his strength. The miracle, the testimony. Are we together now? So you must be able to hand over everything. Here's how the Bible puts it. All my cares and burdens unto you. I That's a part of the song that is powerful. Lord, I come to you with this array of family challenges. I'm handing it over to you. I don't expect to go empty. There are many people, whether God touches you or not, you will go back full because you didn't give him anything. Until you transfer the burden, the sickness, the Bible says, cast all your cares. It didn't say God will do it. It is your responsibility to say, Lord, I'm tired of carrying this infirmity. I'm tired of carrying this evil report. I bring it before you and I cast it down. When you are now empty, God says, I now exchange that which you have brought for what I have brought. Nobody comes before God empty. And God does not come before any man empty. The problem is there must be willingness for the exchange. God will not rest upon you when your hands are full, when your mind is full. Listen, it is very important. You are a man of God here. If all you come to give God is frustration of ministry, Lord, the church is not growing. Lord, this and that, that's, that, mm -mm, that's not the issue. Lord, I hand over everything. Come So it's time to carry your bills that is killing you and surrender it before him. It, listen, it's time to take the sickness. It's time to take the, all the concerns. Don't take some and leave some. Carry everything. Ah, I cast my crown before the highest When your hands are too heavy, you cannot receive anything. You will need to take away, bring the report from your office. Bring the report from a doctor. Bring everything. When you lay it at his feet, you now lift your hand ready to receive the healing, the miracle. You don't come before God just to inform him. No. God is not interested in just being aware. He's interested in doing something. Cast your care. Listen. Coming to God and releasing everything is proof of faith. 
that you come before him and say lord if you do not help me i don't know where the house rent is coming from we are 11 in this family and it's clear that there is a yoke upon this family you may think listen you may think because you have always appearing before him it means you are casting your care no you have to intentionally consciously say lord i don't want this sickness again take it i'm tired of this life of poverty and failure i'm tired of this life without results are we together now yes and one of the ways that we cast our care is through worship another way that we cast our care is through prayer very powerful you can pray and say lord take everything take everything tired of the burden of ministry tired of the burden of my family this is not how you designed me to work take it and then when you are now empty remember when there was no more vessel the oil stopped are we together tonight it does not take god anything to lift you it does not take god anything to bless you it does not take god anything to cause men to bless and honor and lift you listen Benny Hinn said that many people come to his healing crusades and they are ever conscious of their sicknesses, conscious of their infirmity, and even when the power of God is flowing, the fortitude for reception is not there because they are busy meditating. The size of this problem, can God solve it? And God is wondering and saying, who told you, who, who educated you about me? Who told you about me? The Lord, the maker of the heavens and the earth. Tonight, God is able to transform. Tonight, God is able to heal. Hallelujah. To transform and to heal. Apostle, you don't understand the gravity of my situation. That's why. It's your mind and your perception that is being enlarged by the power of darkness. When God comes, the Bible says the mountains keep. Skip. And he clears a way for you. Is someone ready to pray? Please rise up on your feet. I'll give us two prayer points before I begin to minister. And I want us to please pray. Please pray. Hallelujah. The first prayer is you are going to ask the Lord. Listen carefully. You are going to ask the Lord to do something to your faith tonight. I agree and I concur that sometimes the prevailing challenges can be so great and so mighty. You will sit down and begin to wonder in our finite minds, how will God navigate this and bring and birth this miracle for me? Are we together now? This is where the spirit of faith comes. The faith of God. It says, this is the victory that overcomes even our faith. You're going to pray, Lord, my faith is strong. I believe you. I believe you. Lift your voice and pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Tonight, my faith is strong. I believe that this is the night, the night when you transform the night when you heal the night when you deliver the night when you turn my family around is someone praying this is the night of your power the night of your glory this beginning of miracles did jesus in the presence of his disciples and manifested his glory manifest your glory oh god father help my own belief i reject unbelief they limited god in the wilderness by saying can god make a way can god make a way ha 
You are in ministry, pray. Tonight is a night when you expand, when you receive. You are in business, pray. Career, pray. You are in ministry, pray. For your family, pray. Release your faith. Hallelujah. Listen. Prayer point number two. The Bible says, Ye have not because ye ask not. You have not because you ask not. He said, ask and you will receive that your joy may be complete. Ask and you will receive. He didn't say give us any day. Give us this day our daily bread. Listen, when you come to God, it is not only important that you are aware of who he is, but you must come to God stating specifically the way and the manner that you desire or the area that you trust him to step in and come through for you for. Every time Jesus would meet with a blind man, a lame man, he would ask them, what do you want? That you are lame does not mean you want to stand. You must be able to verbalize your requests. You must be able to communicate. Listen, I know that many of you have written your prayer request, but I want to give you the next two or three minutes alone with God. Open your mouth and state the things that you desire by faith to happen to you tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Someone is talking to the Lord. Communicate your expectation. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Our mouths were filled with laughter and said they among the hidden. The Lord had done great things for us. It says the Lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad. Then it says turn again our captivity like the streams of the south. Lift your voice and pray. Pray with faith in your heart. Someone is praying, Lord, my ministry is about to catch fire. There is a dimension of grace that must land upon my life. There is an operation of the spirit that must rest upon me. Is someone praying? I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. I will
person please look up it is not very difficult for a man's situation to change god is not a magician you will need to release your faith with understanding you are before the god of all flesh the doer the walker of wonders he's truly a miracle worker please believe in miracles believe in miracles they are not a fabrication of human intelligence no no god can work miracles god does miracles god delivers god heals god lifts god transforms god sets free that's what his grace can do Never be the same I've touched your grace My life must change I will never stay the same I've touched your grace My life is changed I will never preach the same I've touched your grace My life is changed I will never see the same I've touched your grace My life is changed Hallelujah Hallelujah In the atmosphere of God's glory Listen don't wait until you are called by prophecy don't wait until you are prophesied upon let your heart be open to receive let your heart be opened to rise in the spirit i want to pray now please listen listen to me the power of god is very strong here let's work together now guys deliverance when kept within the boundaries of the word of god is powerful listen because for many of us let me tell you this i submit to you listen please don't inconvenience the guests the space is all right just just let them be please listen it's an interesting thing that many believers are unwilling to accept that behind many tragedies are spirits please understand this behind many operations listen when jesus was going to calm the storm every storm is made of two things wind and water you can see the water but you cannot see the wind every storm is made of wind and water there is no storm that is made of water alone jesus rebuked the water he rebuked the wind and the water was still there is no problem that is as a physical problem there are spirits back of it whether it is financial marital spiritual one of the biggest deceptions of darkness is to believe that your issue is just sociological or just marital no sir no sir there are spirits more spirits than men on the earth in one man there was a legion in one man that's to tell you how much scarce bodies are on earth for these spirits six thousand spirits in one man please listen to what i tell you your financial situation can be masquerading itself and dribbling you all around and it, yes there are principles here and there but hear me you are not free until the spirit that sponsor the operation is dealt with are we together there are you can only judge situations by what has affected you the one that has not affected you yet is there but just because it has not happened yet you may not know so the secret is to address the spirits behind it and not wait for them to create different scenarios that show you they are there
Are we together? When we pray and minister to people, listen, we're, we're, a, very, we're a very balanced, Bible-based ministry. And let me tell you this by the Spirit of God. You do not help men when you leave the spirit that is back of their situations to go back with them. Now, I know that here and there people abuse these things and do all kinds of nonsense that are not within the jurisdiction of Scripture. This is not what we are talking about. We are talking of liberty that is provable. That you can walk out before the service is done. You are seeing the evidence that this is what has masqueraded itself. You will never be the same. You've touched his grace. Your life must change. You will never be the same. You've touched his grace. Your life must change. You will never be the same. You've touched his grace. Your life must change. You can be a man of God here. Greatly ministry. You are anointed. But things may not be working. And you may just think the issue is just ministry, ethics, preaching well. That is wonderful. But let me tell you, he said, I desire once and again to come to you. But Satan hindered us. It is not only angels that are on assignment. There are spirits on assignment. There are demons on assignment. There are powers that are on assignment. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 18. What seest thou? Four horns. These are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Judah, against Jerusalem, and against Israel. That these horns have made it that no man doth lift his head. He said, but I have sent four carpenters. It's a reality. Behind many families are spirits. Behind many medical reports are spirits. Behind many repeated patterns of frustration are spirits. Oh, my help has come. shared the testimony of a gentleman many years ago he was in ministry and um, I had the opportunity to counsel him and while I was talking with him as he entered my room I saw a spirit just entering with him and I looked at this dear gentleman lovely adorable wonderful person and I was politely going to hint him to say sir the Lord is already showing me what is behind your problem. And ah, the gentleman just shot me down and said, no, no, no. Don't talk to me about this and that. I said, that's all right. No problem. I respect you. I do this. Let me just pray with you. That's all I requested from him. The last thing he could remember was me beginning to pray. And then when he recovered from himself, like almost an hour later on, he got up. And for the next three days, this gentleman kept reaching me. And said, Apostle, you have rattled my theology. What is this? Doors began to open like a charm in that gentleman's life. Listen, I hope you know that there was a relationship between the doors that were closed and the chains in the hand of Paul and Silas. It's very strange. They were bound hand and feet, the Bible says, at midnight. They lifted up their voices. They prayed and they sang. Suddenly, there was an earthquake because God himself came. And then, listen, the Bible says the moment there was that earthquake, the chains by themselves fell. Immediately, the chains fell. He said, all doors open. Not some. All doors. There was no use of key. The key was that chain. As the chain fell, the doors opened. Please, I'd like you to pray in one minute. Father, if there is any spirit entity that is back of my situation, it must live by the spirit and the grace of God. Lift your voice and pray.
e la baruta shala karapa kato zebradiya prante la shubra haska barutiya e gredu siyala haska baruta siyala bas shali barato sala barushi by the power of the Holy Ghost tonight in the name of Jesus every spirit that is not of the Christ that is back of the situation around my life my family my business my ministry pray hallelujah you see the power of God is already touching people listen I'm going to take a few minutes tonight to really address this issue of spirits because they are real they are very very real very real hallelujah I have met so many spirits in my life I've had so many encounters that's not the basis of believing they are there scripture already tells us they are there but let me tell you they are there and they are not there doing nothing they are there causing pain they are there manipulating families they are there projecting things that are not of the Christ but the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty let's pray I want to begin to pray now please listen whether or not you are an usher I'd like you to help those under the anointing we are going to do a lot of praying this night while I'm ministering um, please participate in the prayer prayer is very powerful when done with understanding are we together now I want to pray for you and then begin to minister to people because there are real spirits behind people's situations hallelujah first I want you to bring out now I'm not going to say anything God is giving me an instruction the power of God I'm already seeing something like a blue smoke rising out of people and these are spirits and when that happens the power of God will come upon them I want you whether outside or inside just begin to bring them out here we're going to pray and call on that name now but the Lord is revealing to me you will be very surprised some of you are standing for yourself, standing for your family. Please bring them out. This is the instruction God is giving. Except God is not God. There is no spirit that is back of any one situation that will remain after tonight. Please quickly just bring them out. I'm seeing the power of God. I don't know why God is giving me this instruction. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. I will contend with them that contend with you. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Please bring them out. Let's just walk with what the Holy Ghost is doing. The strangers that must come out of their hiding place and let you be and let your family be. There's fire burning in this place. One more minute and then we'll pray. God is still locating people inside and outside. It's time for your liberty and your liberty in full, in full by the Spirit. Establishing the victory of the Christ over every life, every destiny. Christ 
Credo Selika Tuziadabash. we are ready to pray please lift your hands let me pray now i'm seeing fire that fire is coming on people as i pray in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god as you shout that name jesus i declare by the blood of the eternal covenant that every legal access upon which the devil is laying claim over lives over bodies over finances over destinies i invoke help that woman by the blood of the eternal covenant he must go now at the count of three shout jesus one two three I cause darkness by the power of the Holy Ghost. Bring them out. In the name of Jesus, I command the powers that be by the blood of the eternal covenant that everything that binds men to spirits binds men to realities in the spirit. I come against it by the God of Jeshurun. Please bring them out. We release a sound in the realm of the spirit. We declare sounds of victory. We are still praying, my God. Chains. I'm seeing chains in the spirit. One more time, you are going to shout that name. Lord, if there is anyone here under any kind of chain, the Bible says to release them that are bound. As you shout that name, no matter how long that chain has stayed, it's time for you to be released. Are you ready now? Thank you, Father, for the honor of your word. One, two, three, shout Jesus. I break those chains now. I break those chains now. I break those chains now. Over families. Over businesses. I break those chains now. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me the vision of a graveyard. I'm seeing the vision of a graveyard. And the Lord wants me to rebuke the spirit of the grave. The spirit of Hades. I stand by the God of heaven. And I declare right now. Anyone covenanted to the power of the grave. The covenant with death. The covenant with the grave. By fire. May that fire fall on you now. The covenant with the grave. The covenant with death. I speak by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Be free now. Be liberated now. Be free now. Haladuja li haskabaruda shalabanda sibaha. Rakatiza neha shalakotia. Hallelujah. Now listen. We are going to pray for the sick. But I'm sensing a unique grace for the healing of growths and lungs. Growths and lungs. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing like a woman on a surgical table. This is what I'm seeing. I'm speaking right now. Every spirit behind the infirmity. My God, I'm seeing fire fall on people. Right now in the name of Jesus. Every lump, every growth fibroids, malignant growth, cancerous tissues. By the spirit of the living God. Let the life and the power of God touch you now. Let the life, help them please. Let the life and the power of God. In the name of Jesus, I command those crows to leave those bodies now. I command them to dissolve now. Help that lady, please. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Growths. 
I'm still seeing growths coming out of people's bodies. Swellings of all kinds. This is not limited to women alone, including men. Be free now in the name of Jesus. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in. And we here in front in this overflow and all the overflows I declare that the spirits that lay claim upon any aspect of your life I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and I command them to leave now pack your load and go at the count of three one two three go 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 out of their destinies now out of their lives forever out of their lives forever of their homes forever out of their bodies forever <laughs> hallelujah please pay attention we are still praying now the Lord is showing me something that I don't see very often I'm seeing an old gate and I'm seeing chains on it with a padlock. This is a sign of stagnation. You are here and mysteriously, you have been in the same position. You try to move, you try to push. I'm about to smash that gate to pieces. Not to open it, to stamp it down. He has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder. Now help them please. Listen. I want you to shout Jesus from the depth of your heart. I decree and declare every destiny here that has been tied down by men, by systems, by spirits, so that you cannot move. By this shout of the healer tonight, I declare every gate crushed and comes down now. Are you ready? At the count of three. One, two, three. I prophesy to you, move forward, go forward, go forward, go forward. Stagnation comes to an end. Ritro apakoto shala, rekete kete kete, parus kaba, embreketo sheleto sabaka. Stagnation comes to an end. Retrogression comes to an end. Hallelujah. Who is Bukola? I'm hearing a name Bukola. Bukola. Our time is gone. There is still a lot to do. Who is Bukola? Don't worry. Don't force and rush those who are standing in front. You are Bukola. Where are you coming from? Let me pray for you, my dear. Stand up and I'll pray for you. You are also Bukola. My dear, hold my hands. Listen, my dear. In the name of Jesus, this chain that I'm seeing be loose now. In the name of Jesus, I lose you from that chain. It is broken now and broken forever. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is showing me someone you walk in first bank. You walk in first bank. Who is that person? You need a serious miracle now. You walk in first bank. First bank. Let's hurry up, please. You walk. Who is that first bank? All of you are Bukola. Ma, let me speak to you. The grace for wealth. Stand up. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing currencies falling on you. And the Lord is telling me that there is a strange grace for wealth. 
this, this, is, this should be Kingsley's wife. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the spirit of the Lord, let that word come to pass now. I release you by the power of prophecy into that dimension. Prepared blessings by the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'll pray for everyone, but the power of God is going to come on one of you now. Very mighty anointing is coming on one of you, and God is setting that person's family free. One of these bukolas, right? So the power of God is coming on you, one of you. It, this is not something small. It's a, a mighty outpouring of the power of God. When that happens, um, I would just identify that one. Who works in First Bank? First Bank, you are a staff. Huh? No, you are not a staff of First Bank, you are on contract. Is that true? You are on contract. I will still pray. This person I am seeing is a bona fide staff of the bank. I want to pray for you because I am seeing something that can cost you your job. Father, show this, my dear brother, mercy by the grace of God. Look at me, sir. I am seeing a whirlwind on your head. I need to pray against confusion and pray against stagnation. I declare in the name of Jesus, you are set free now and you are free forever in the name of Jesus. Please make sure you are observing the ladies. The power of God is going to come on one. That's the instruction God is giving me. It's very mighty anointing. When it comes on that one, I want to pray for them. Your father is a general in the army. Who is that? Your dad is a general in the army. I need to pray. We need to rebuke conspiracies. The Lord is showing me your father is it a general in the army. Real army, military. Please, if you are that person, I want you to come. If you are that person, I want you to come. I want to pray for you. This is conspiracy. In the name of Jesus, over her family, let there be a mighty deliverance. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for all of you for the various reasons why you have come out. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord himself give you testimonies. Very strange testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. The Lord is showing me a vision. I'm seeing a family of five ladies. There's no marriage. One, two, three, four, five. Five ladies. Nobody has settled down. Where are you? Please come. Where are you coming from, my dear? From Joss. I want to pray. You are five of you. All alive. Five ladies. No one has settled down. What do you do? Contract staff with Sterling Bank. Wait. Sterling Bank. Sterling Bank. Yes. You will leave the bank soon. Amen. Listen to me. There is another job that is coming for you. When that job comes, don't fight it. It's the will of God. You hear what I'm saying? I'm not saying you should go and retire now. But I'm telling you that another job is coming. Let's pray. It's not normal. We need to break this. I'm seeing three ladies in my vision. I don't know why there's only one person here. These five, five families. Please make sure you don't tell lies. Don't just come and stand here. If it's not, I will pray for everybody. Five families. None. Not one person has settled down. Ladies now. Don't cry, my dear. Jesus is in this place. Release the family now. Release the family now. I'm looking at this lady and I'm seeing coals of fire and I'm seeing a horn on it. Release the family now. There is someone here. This is a very mysterious thing that happens to you. In a very strange way. This happens especially when you pray for extended periods. Your whole body starts itching you in a funny way. You know how someone under the influence of a, what they call that drug? Chloroquine. That's what happens to you. Like physically you begin to scratch your body. I must pray for you. Why is she here? Please. You are the one? Come. Come. Madam, you too. Where are you coming from, ma? You are coming from Abuja. Come. We we'll attend to the photos you are holding here, eh? but for now, we need to pray for you. This is, this is not just evil, very evil. I have to pray for you. 
You too, my brother. Where are you coming from? You see, my dear people, I'm, no, I'm not saying if your body is itch, listen to the, the, the issue. I just saw fire, this row, right down, just like a sword of fire just passed. I don't know who that is for, but in the name of Jesus, let it bring emancipation right now. Right now in the name of Jesus. Look at me, my dear. You believe in Jesus? I bring you life from this kingdom that we represent. Be free now from this demonic, satanic oppression. In the name of Jesus. Uh, dear auntie let me pray for you just keep her there can you hold my hands madam i want to pray for you right now in the name that is above all names help her be free right now i cause the workings of darkness over your body and over your life in the mighty name of jesus christ five families hold my hands look at me shout jesus as loud as you can jesus in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, let it be over. Let the doors be opened. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you, my dear. I'm looking at you physically, but in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing an arrow inside your head. I need to pray. There is infirmity that has been projected in your body. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Can I pray for you? Is that all right? Father, help this lady. In the name of Jesus, hold my hands. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. Be free from this that does not name the name of Christ. I set you free from it now in the name of Jesus. Five ladies, I'll just lay my hands on you. Be free right now. Let the doors be opened. Be free right now. Kai, let her go. Out now in the name of Jesus. She's also here. Your dad is a general in the army. Where are you from? Gombe State. You are in Abuja, but you are from Gombe State. I'd like us to pray. Can I pray for you? I'm not a prophet of doom, eh? Don't be afraid. Look at me. Those who plan evil, in the name of Jesus, they will not live to execute their wickedness. You see, Ba, my brothers and my sisters, let me teach you something about life. The Bible says a man's enemy shall be the members of his own household. Father, preserve the life of this our general in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a family now, God is breaking the plague of death. The power of God is coming. I don't know whether they are inside or outside. The plague of death is being broken right now. There is a mighty anointing that is coming on that wise to set them free from the plague of death. Please come very quickly. I'll just touch you. I don't know why they are here, but we have to hurry up very quickly. Just a touch. Believe by faith. It is over. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Sir, where are you coming from? I'm coming from Abuja. From Abuja? Yeah. What do you do, sir? I'm a minister. You are a minister of the gospel. I want to pray for you. Where, where, where are you coming from? Where do you come your state of origin? Akwaibo. Do you plan to go this Christmas? I'm not here. To, but I'm not here huh? I'm, I, I went for operation. It's not up to Listen, that's why I want to talk to you. I'm looking at this man and I'm seeing you were supposed to have died. It's because of the intercession of men that you are alive. But then, I'm, I'm not a prophet of doom. We, anything God shows, we cancel. You get the point now? I'm seeing this man going in a bus, and I'm seeing a truck. I will not mention, I'm not being antagonistic, but the truck did not just shift your car. It climbed it, and everybody gone like that. You see, when God shows a thing, it is because of the strength he has put in his church. The power to change it completely. Are we together? I want to pray for you. You are very sick. And even the surgery has not solved the problem. Because what I'm seeing is still there. Please hold my hand, sir. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son, let this man not be given to the sword. 
let him not be given to the grave in the name of Jesus I knock on the door of life and I speak to you sir by the power of the Holy Ghost be set free I fortify you by the power of God's word and I declare death will be far from your dwelling I speak that your going out is blessed and safe even your coming in is blessed and it is safe in the name of Jesus may the Lord show you mercy continually in Jesus name I pray family of five I need to pray hold my hands Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh yeah. Oh yeah yeah say Oh yeah yeah oh In the name of Jesus I lose you and your siblings everything that is an orchestration of darkness I speak by the Spirit of the Living God you are loose now in the name of Jesus I declare liberty I restore dignity and honor what is happening to you I'm seeing an angel of the Lord going out here there's somebody the same thing is happening to someone there the same thing God is doing here, God is doing to a lady there. I declare be liberated right now in the name of Jesus. Please come, sir. Let me just touch you by faith. In Jesus' name, be set free. Come. In Jesus' name, be set free. 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 There is someone, I think you are in ministry, you are in overflow one. The power of God is going to come upon you in a mighty way now. Please carry the person and bring the person here. We have to hurry up. I'm seeing the power of God touch the person. Hallelujah. I'm about to release that grace for speed again. Please come. May the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus. Ah, 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 ah. Shala super ruskiata. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria. And I'm seeing blood dripping around the east. And the Lord is saying, those who are easterners. Is, this, is a, this is a sign and a wonder. When God shows me a map, whenever I mention that location, anyone who is oppressed within that location, the power of God comes on them. Right now, I'm seeing the east. The east. I release that power now. The Lord is bringing liberation. Eastern states. I'm seeing blood drip upon them. name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I'm seeing an elderly woman with sharp pain around her lumbar vertebra the power of God is touching that woman right now who is the person mommy you're welcome one to pray ah. not everything that looks like sickness is sickness there are many things that are projections of darkness are we together? Mommy, let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, who is the Christ of God. Help her, please. In the name of Jesus, I command that spirit. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, release our mother. In the name of Jesus. Mommy, I command that infirmity, that plague and that yoke of darkness. Be gone right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me just pray for these two people now. This lady, where is she coming from? Okay. There is, 
it will surprise you how the grace for intercession will come on you this lady this fair lady i'm talking to you in the name of jesus i speak by the power of the holy ghost may that grace mantle you and turn you into a sign and a wonder the lord will show you things in your dreams he will show you things in visions please bring our mommy for me let me pray in the name of jesus christ um just touch her back for me in the name of jesus christ i declare right now this is not sickness this is the spirit of death i command the spirit of death hell and the grave to leave our mother right now by the power of the holy spirit complete emancipation complete emancipation in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ the lord is asking me to stretch my hands just here i don't know why but this is what he's saying just right here to the wall i'm seeing i'm seeing people's stomach the abdominal region i'm seeing things like chains just bring those under the anointing as i'm talking i'm seeing things like chains these are devils of infirmity the lord is asking me to just stretch my hand please just allow me do my madness with god here and let the lord set these people free please bring them out we're hurrying up now in the name of jesus karu salatu ziata kariza hasalam barita suba haseketa kradu saletu shala sabah hasarata tasiakata rakata barada balakata frata sadabakatu shala brandas kabariata i place my hand on my stomach as a point of contact every planting that is not of god in the name of jesus christ be free from it now <laughs> hallelujah the power of god is coming on one of the ushering ladies one of these ladies with the jerseys i'm seeing an anointing i know you are ministering but this is a miracle god is bringing for you for your family one of the ushering ladies i don't know whether they are inside outside i'm seeing an anointing on one of the ushering ladies this is this is liberty that god is bringing right now shalus karita hasubadia in the name of jesus my dear look at me shame and reproach is living your life now shame and reproach is living your life now the garment of shame and reproach is living your life now why is this gentleman here you are not the anointing outside come hold my hands in the name of jesus i pray for you come you lifting your hands run come your time of change has come where are you coming from it's, it's all right it's okay don't worry that's why you are here do you know me that's why i'm saying you just relax you were in the crowd and god brought you here do you know why god brought you here because things are not working at all in your family god needs to turn things around if i don't pray for you what i'm seeing is you are celebrating christmas morning and blaming people being the reason why somebody died and another person died because i'm seeing the spirit of death hovering around your family but the bible says now the lord is that spirit let me pray for you hold my hands my dear what did you study Do you have a job? I'm, I'm a copper in Ondo State. I'm, work, I'm, I'm a copper. I'm serving an NGO mm. for HIV in Ondo State. I want to pray for you. The favor of God that will come upon you from this miracle service will surprise you. You believe that? In the name of Jesus, I stay the power of evil over your family. And in the name of Jesus, I release you to a realm and a dimension of strange favor receive that grace in jesus name we're going to pray for the sick shortly but i want to release this grace for speed please i want you to believe there is a real grace for speed if you don't have it you don't have it period there is a grace Gashina, 
Searching how Janna Yana Dashina Searching Sarakuna Yana Searching Sarakuna Spirit. Listen, it's a mystery how God brought me into this understanding. When you understand how speed works, you will never feel bad for any delay in your life. It's a strange system that insists that you catch pace with destiny. It works mysteriously. It works by compressing time. Time. Time dominion over time is what speed is about i want to pray for someone now Sirkin sarakuna father please i know that when i begin to pray inside and outside people will begin to run physically honestly why god does it i don't know i think it's just a prophetic acting of what is happening in the realm of the spirit but every time i pray this prayer the hand of god comes upon people and you find out that sometimes they begin to run physically and i'm going to pray that prayer now there are people here god wants to take 10 years and put in one year god wants to take one year five years and put in one month is it not written in your bible that i will restore the years God does not only restore things, he restores time. Whoever can restore time must be God himself. Are we together? In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare right now. Everyone under the sound of my voice, inside, outside, parushalata. I declare at the count of three, Father, let this grace for speed, restoration, the mystery that gains time. May that grace fall upon people within this auditorium, overflow. One, two, three, four online. In the name of Jesus, receive that grace. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Speed, restoration. I prophesy, pursue, overtake without fail, recover. Pursue, overtake without fail, recover. In career, pursue. In marriage, pursue. In ministry, pursue. I'm speaking by the Spirit. Pursue, overtake, recover. Pursue, help that woman, please. Overtake, recover. Financially, pursue, overtake, recover. In your influence, pursue, overtake, recover. In your academics, I pray for students. Pursue, overtake, recover. Pursue, overtake, recover. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The person who will run out now under the anointing, don't stop the person, just hold the person. By the person's self, mysteriously by the spirit, there is a prophetic word. And this is how God told me. It's a force that will come upon the person. Please help her. it will happen by the spirit they will come out by themselves a strong anointing is not something you can resist this is a sign and a wonder how god does it i don't know Sarkin 
That's why I'm standing. Three more people. It's a wind. It's a force of the spirit. Kai, the wonder walking power of Jesus. How the church has limited him. Limited him. Limited him. Please help them. Make sure they don't injure themselves. Gashina, Kamuna, Sir King Aljana, Yanana, Gashina, Gashina, Kamuna, Sir King Aljana. ones that have come out by the spirit i'm declaring right now the chains that hold your feet i'm seeing their legs specifically their legs with chains i lose you now in the name of jesus i release you to destiny i release you to destiny i release you to destiny by the power of the holy ghost no more delay no more retrogression by the spirit of the living god The force of God's power birthing possibilities in the lives of people. The power of God is coming on this gentleman, this one wearing polo. Yes, my friend, the anointing of the Spirit is coming on you in a very mighty way. And I'm seeing a gate open before you, and night is at your back and day is in your front i prophesy to you what i'm seeing and to everyone who connects with this prophecy i take night behind you and i command your morning to stand before you i take night behind you and i command the sun to shine before you in the name of jesus christ Everyone lift your voice after me in the name of Jesus. Please shout it, say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare by the anointing of the Spirit, I am breaking limits. I am moving forward. Lift your voice and begin to prophesy. Breaking limits. In the name of Jesus, I make progress. Is someone praying? I make progress by the power of the Holy Ghost. Breaking limits. Breaking limits. Pali shala hasaka tabra galusia. Ekretus kaba shala da barutis. Empre koto shole bra hasada da baladaba. Hallelujah. We're about to pray for the sick now. Please listen. When we take our time to pray for the sick like this, the anointing of the Holy Spirit is coming on someone just around the ministers. As I came here, I just spoke. I just saw fire, just resting. Strong anointing from the front to my back. Strong anointing. The Spirit of God is resting upon people, moving, shifting by the Spirit of the living God. How forcible. Pastor, there is a grace coming on you. The HICC pastor, a strong anointing, shifting you by the spirit. Step into a new dimension. Gashina, Gamuna, Sir King Aljana, na na na. New 
dimensions. We want to pray for the sick now. Listen very carefully. I believe in miracles. There are people here who are standing, trusting God to touch various aspects of their lives, their bodies. Kite. There is still a strong anointing around the minister section here. I'm seeing impartations, real graces, impartations coming by the Spirit. Impartations. People are drinking of wines. Ima, lift your hands. I amplify the prophetic upon your life in the name of Jesus. I I amplify the prophetic in the name of Jesus. Hold your hands, two of you. Please help them. Take that grace in the name of Jesus. Amplify the grace. You step into new dimensions in the spirit. The spirit and the power of the word. Your words from today will be like fire. Fire. Refine us fire. Sarukin Sarapuna Na 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 Sarukin Sarapuna Dan, come Hold my hands Grace is given for you to rise no more delay. I place a ladder before you and I shift you by the spirit to the amazement of many. May your life change, change like day and night. Praise the Lord. Thank you for your patience. Please rise. Let's stretch our hands here. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Prophecy, no matter how accurate, is limited by time and the openness of the vessel. But that every time, this is not a ritual, it's a revelation to come before the God who can answer. Listen, there are things here written that are death sentences. There are things written here that will take only God to provide a miracle for. There are things written here that are age-long captivities. Some of them even predate our coming to the earth. But there is a name that is above every other name. The Bible says, Wherefore God hath so highly exalted him and given him an office, a name, a title. The Bible says that at the mention of that name, everything in the earth in heaven under the earth will bow every knee and then every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord even to the glory of the Father. I cannot begin to tell you the kind of tearsome testimonies that have come out of this. This is not a ritual. There is a covenant that sponsors the, uh, the answered prayer here. And one more time and the last time really for this year I want us to agree in the next two, three minutes. Wherever you are, just stretch your hands as a point of contact and begin to pray that the Egyptian that I see today, in the name of Jesus the Christ of God, I will see them no more forever. Is someone praying? Every evil report, orchestrations of darkness, if it had a beginning tonight is the end pray don't worry for those of you at the overflow who are still being ministered to just focus as the ministers minister to you while we pray
of Jesus, we decree and declare that these Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever. Father, we bring before you every situation here. Marital situations, financial situations, spiritual situations, career situations. In the name of Jesus, we bring them under the covering of the blood. Every legal access upon which these requests continue to remain by the blood of the eternal covenant we nullify that access now in jesus name father by this prayer we blot out handwritings and ordinances that speak against god's people we declare them nullified forever i stand as one sent by the spirit of the lord and i declare receive strange testimonies before this year runs out in the name of jesus let every request tabled here be turned into testimonies <laughs> testimonies are largely answered through men hmm. when it leaves heaven most times the testimonies we need we need them in their material form. There are few testimonies that we need them just in the spirit form. I'm praying every human agent that must partner with God, partner with the systems of God to see to it that this request is granted. We compel them by the spirit to do so now. In the name of Jesus. Every death sentence written here in the name of Jesus we cancel it now yes. hallelujah let it be done so shall it be we establish it in the name of Jesus now we want to round up by prophesying over our lives this for me you've heard me say this is the best part of the service because this is where everybody gets an opportunity for spiritual realities to be created in your life. Please, I want you to agree with me. Every proclamation that will come, receive it by faith, believe it, and shout a loud amen as proof that you believe it. Are we together? In the name of Jesus Christ. Delay comes to an end now. Delay comes to an end now. Delay comes to an end now. Everything representing shame and reproach in your life and that of your family. It comes to end this night in the name of Jesus. pray for your spiritual life the kind of encounter that you have not had from January till now strange encounters revelations of heaven receive that grace in the name of Jesus and if our God is for us then who could ever stop us and if our God is with us then And if our God is with us, every wall that stands before you and the next dimension, I decree and declare by the spirit of grace that was upon the nation of Israel standing before Jericho, I command every wall, go down flat. Financial walls go down flat. Career walls go down flat. In the name of Jesus. A 
and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon every man that must send for you to come out from where you are to where you need to go to the gatekeepers of the dimensions that you seek to enter I compel favor from them to you I compel favor from them to you in the name of Jesus There are angels that herald the influence of a man. Listen, honor is a grace. When that grace is not upon you, no matter how noble you are, you will never be honored. Honor is a grace. And when that grace is on you, only God can take it away. It says, and Jabez was more honorable than his, not more prosperous not more favored more honorable many people do not know what honor is the fortitude for preference there is an unction from god that fishes you out of the crowd places you in a position where the eyes of men must discern you reward you recognize that which god has invested within you listen to me there are many gifted people the eye that can bless has not seen you. There are many men of God. The eyes that can discern and lift you is not there. Let me pray for you. There is a grace for honor. Therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, may the mantle that makes for honor, territorial honor, honor at a national level, in the name of Jesus, receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. You will be surprised to see the workings of this grace in your life. When the grace for honor and favor is upon you, you will always be found in the midst of your destiny helpers. Listen, it's a mystery that cannot be explained. You will be suspended until they appear. Then you come. Listen is a waste to fight battles without reward David said what shall be given to the man that will do this to Goliath sometimes it's a waste to do noble things in the face and the presence of people who have no fortitude to discern and to reward I pray for you may the Lord position your destiny help us and cause them to love you and to honor you The Lord asked me to wear this as a prophetic representation of what he is still doing. It is still a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. I stand by the God of heaven. Have the faith to believe. Don't sit down questioning, leave your mind and trust God. It is within his power to make great. He takes a man from the dunghill overnight and turns his life around. I'm praying for you. For some of you, before this year is over, step into a dimension of prepared blessings. Prepared blessings. Prepared parushalata. I release you into a dimension of prepared blessing. Listen, believers, I want you to believe this. Our time is gone, but I want you to believe this. Do not doubt what the power of God can do. Hallelujah. We're rounding up in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. The grace that will produce results of wonders in your life. May that grace rest upon you now. Prepare.
appeared blessings that take you to realms 10 years put in one month I release that grace upon you listen these graces are not some carnal show of wealth no they are time redemption systems understand what they are they seek to conquer time and give you the convenience and the allowance to serve the purposes of the kingdom in the name of Jesus the grace for ease that brings you into supernatural results receive that grace right now receive that grace in the name of Jesus I pray for every family represented here the sound of mourning the sound of pain and anguish by the spirit of the living God let it come to an end this night everything that has refused to walk in your life by the power of the highest I compel it to begin to walk now you do not know may they carry glad tidings about you to the ears of your helpers in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you the presence of God the weightiness the substance of his presence that must rest upon you especially if you are in ministry by the power of the Holy Ghost be a career of divine presence In the name of Jesus, everyone here trusting God for a job, before this year runs out, may God give you a miracle job. Every family here trusting the Lord for any and every kind of breakthrough, we call upon the God of the heavens. In the name of Jesus, let there be an, a, an abundant supply of that grace. Hear me. Whoever ignores you will pay for it. Hear me. Any man that fights you goes down instantly. Let me say it again. Any man that fights you goes down instantly. I pray for every ministry here under the sound of my voice the grace and the wings of the spirit that will take you to dimensions untold may that grace rest upon you I pray for every man and every woman of God here the errands and the horse that will hold your hands loyal men indeed may God give them to you here who the testimony over your life is Ichabod I declare by the spirit of God a restoration happens now <laughs> thou shall not be afraid of the snare of the fowler nor the noisome pestilence nor the destruction that wasted in noonday says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side it says none shall hurt you but with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked I pray for you as a bird is escaped from the snare of the fowler may you escape from every evil may you escape from every trap in the name of Jesus Christ, I speak over your life. Go from glory to glory. The remaining weeks of this year, I'm speaking to you. May they be weeks of strange wonders. And finally, let me speak over your prayer life over your word study life whatever has stolen your joy whatever has stolen your fire whatever has stolen your passion whatever has stolen your focus in the name of Jesus by fire let it be restored tonight may the gifts of the Holy Ghost operate freely in your life may you be a wonder first to yourself and then may you be a wonder to everyone around you in the name of Jesus 
finally anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death to see to it that you will not finish this year well to see to it that it will not be well with you and your family the hands he came and met the woman and said it's all well it's all well with your household i pray for you because the bible says to say to the righteous it shall be well therefore i speak over you it is well i declare over you all is well in the name of jesus christ thank you jesus for all of you who have traveled from far whether from another nation right down here from another city right down here you will go back with strange testimonies you will carry a fire and anointing that will be worth your coming here in the name of jesus very quickly you are here under the sound of my voice please let's minimize movement and you are saying apostle I want you to give me an opportunity to give my life to Jesus Christ. You are here and you are saying, Apostle, I've seen the wonder-working power of God. I need Jesus as a matter of urgency in my life. Hear me. The Bible says, whosoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Praise the Lord. Whether you are here inside or outside, there are people here who are saying, Apostle, I need Jesus. There are others who are saying, Apostle, I need restoration of my relationship with Jesus. It is never too late to reconnect with him. Now, whether you are here, let's minimize movement, whether you are here inside or outside, we cannot close this meeting. This is the last miracle service for the year. Wherever you are, whether you are rededicating your life or you are handing your life over to Jesus for the first time, inside, outside, overflow, one, two, three. I want you to run and come and stand right in front of me here. Sustain the boldness to come. Don't be ashamed. Let's celebrate them as they come, Koinonia. Those coming from outside, please clear the way for them. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way, Jesus is the answer for the world today. Keep coming. Above him there's no other, Jesus is the way, Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other Jesus is the way Jesus is the answer For the world today Above him there's no other Jesus is the way The Bible says, For God so loved you and me He proved his love by giving, not taking giving his one and only begotten son now the firstborn of we the begotten that whosoever will believe in him should not perish is a law but have the way the life of god you have come many of you making this decision for the first time many of you rededicating your lives to jesus listen it doesn't matter why you came i want you to know that there is a god who loves you desperately unashamedly and is ready to give you a new beginning lift your right hand and say this very passionately say this truthfully from the depth of your heart say lord jesus please if you're joining us quickly come quickly come find a space and pray this prayer from the depth of your heart say with me again lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i believe join them quickly say i believe that you are the son of God I believe that you died for me I believe that you shed your blood for my sin tonight I receive your life I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and I declare that from tonight until forever I reign in life I am a child of God I belong to the family of God amen
Keep your hands lifted while I pray for you. Father, thank you. You have brought these ones by your spirit. You are able to save to the uttermost, scripture says. Thank you for drawing these ones. I decree and declare by the spirit of God that every legal stand that the devil has against them is nullified tonight by the blood. I declare by the authority of scripture your sins be forgiven and I declare that the Lord grants you a new beginning from tonight. I declare that you go forward ever and backward never. The power to love and serve Jesus is released upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Now very quickly, there are a number of you. Um, there are two gentlemen waving their hands. You can follow this aisle or this one, whichever will take you to the same place. Please follow them as we celebrate them. There will be a group of people to just receive you and just share a few things with you and you'll be back. Is this the best you can do, Koinonia? Hallelujah. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.